The high winds of Hurricane Matthew knocked down these power poles, snapping them in two, and left these power lines dangerously hanging above the ground. Back there, you can see an oil storage tank has been blown over, and part of the roof of this shack has been ripped off like a tuna can. We took a ride around the island and found lots of flooded roads, but the people we spoke to said it might have been much worse. A lot of broken trees. Some of the homes, like further down south, of, uh, they're, they're flooded. Um, but I, I think we came out okay. This is where the wall surrounding the eye of the storm made a direct hit on the Bahamas. That water surged over here. The powerful winds blew down a green fence. And you can see the winds were so powerful, they blew down whole trees torn up by their roots. Over here, you've got power lines that have been ripped down by heavy winds. And across the street, debris and devastation for miles. This petrol station was battered, but still open and serving. Throughout the island, we've seen damage to wooden structures like this, and these stores have suffered some largely superficial damage, but they were all boarded up ahead of time, so that was at least minimized. And down the road, we can see just hours after the hurricane struck, the cleanup begins.